Hi everybody, this is Miss Cox, and I'm going to show you how to complete the Mouse Tracker Challenge. So the Mouse Tracker Challenge, you're starting off by trying to get the ball to follow your mouse. So it says start out so that the ellipse shows up at the user's mouse's position, instead of always being in the same position. Well, let's take a look at the position of the ellipse. The first two numbers in the ellipse are the X and Y. And we want to change those so it follows the mouse. So instead of it being 36 as the X, we're going to change it to mouse X. And we're going to change this number to mouse Y. And what it'll do is it'll suddenly follow our mouse. So that's the first step. Now the next step is where it gets kind of more interesting. Because you're basically going to display the coordinates. So if we look at the directions, it says we're going to use the mouse X and mouse Y to update as you're moving the mouse and then basically printing next to the mouse what the coordinates are. And then basically, let's start, it looks like we need to start by creating a variable for this label. So I'm going to go in here and put var label is equal to, and what do we want? We want the first number is going to be the x position, so we want it to print mouse x plus Oh, I'm sorry. Let's see. Am I doing this right? Mouse X plus comma. And you want to put a space around the comma, otherwise the numbers will be right next to each other. Plus mouse Y. And then I'm going to add this last part. Text, parentheses, label, comma, mouse, or I'm sorry. Let's see. Mouse X, mouse Y. Now, before I move on, here's why this is working. First off, I just created this variable, which is a label. And here's where I'm actually printing the label. So I'm saying, hey, print the label, which is this plus this plus this at this position. So instead of just saying, OK, well, this is the variable it's changing, we're saying we're going to put it at this position. So questions, does that make sense? No. Okay. All right. Hopefully that helps you. Thank you.